Greetings ladies and gentlefish and welcome back to Final Fantasy 9 where we are going to continue trying to chase after that black mage who ran the hell away. So time to enter the weird thing that we don't know the name of. It's just called question mark at the moment. Pew! And we just saw the black mage run off to the right. I think they live so deep in the forest that owls don't even live there. That Zidane repeats that clue from back uh, that you were given back in Condi Petit. Now, don't just follow the black mage because this is a bit of a well. Okay, black mages they do magic, right? So this is a bit of a trap. You read the sign, and it will tell you where there are owls and where there are no owls. Two different directions. You always go the way that there are no owls. So in this particular occasion, that's to the right. Now that will change because, as you see, we go that way. And we wind back up here. You do it again. Where there are owls to the left, where there are no owls to the right. As I say, that can change. And this time we come up that way. If you keep going the wrong way, you will just endlessly go in a loop back to this point. So always follow the signs to where there are no owls. And eventually you will be let through. Oh, by the way, you can get encounters here probably going to be a Zenzelet or two. Oh, no, it's the floating mushrooms. Fantastic. Right. Anyone for mushroom soup? Let's throw a scan at them because I can't remember how much health they have or anything. Uh, it's a Myconid. 1,372 health, it's aerial, yes I can see that, weak against fire, weak against wind, so Vivi's going to throw a fire at the pair of them, and Zidane's going to attack one, and one of them is going to throw Blizzara at my face, yay Blizzara, and Queen is actually going to go into a trance, which is very well timed, because I want to try and eat one of these guys, because, well, mushroom soup, why wouldn't you want to try and eat one? So let's kick off with some magic. That did 513 or 400 or something or other. So let's cook that first one. So that should be on low enough health. You can eat it. And we'll have Zidane attack the second one. Om nom 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 nom. Learned Mighty Guard. Very, very useful ability against some bosses. So that is, it casts Protect and Shell on your entire party. It costs a lot of MP to use, but against some of the harder bosses in this game, it's a godsend. Spore, that does a status effect, I just can't remember which one. Darkness, boo, boo. annoying. Okay. Tastes bad. There we go. So, I'd forgotten these things inflict darkness, so we're going to see if we can equip Zidane in particular with an ability to get around that. Bright eyes, isn't it? Bright eyes. I'm not going to keep butchering that. Learned Auto Potion with Queen of that'd be fantastic. Um, bum, 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 bum. Right, so we're done with the magician robe. Insomniac from the magician cloak. Nah. We'll equip the silk robe instead. Right. So let's go with. We've already got clear headed. Ability up is our friend. Have you got bright eyes yet? Can't remember. Yes, you have. So, let's get rid of one of these useless abilities. What we got? Bandit, clear-headed, yeah. Well, we don't need Bandit for a while because we're not going to come across a boss for a while, to be fair. Get rid of Bandit and go Bright Eyes. Now, I feel I should point out that doesn't actually get rid of a status effect that you have already been afflicted with. There we go, never mind. It was this way I was going.
And basically you keep doing this until all of the owls have sodded off. Where there are no owls. Hooray. Now when that black mage turns up right at the end, that's basically the last direction you need to go in. And watch this happen. Run through it quickly before it reasserts itself. Whether that's an illusion or a barrier, don't know. Either way, we're through. Also, I love the music for Black Mage Village. Ah! Uh, humans! What's wrong? Humans! Run! Wait! Did you see them? They say humans, but one of them is clearly a black mage and the other guy has a tail. So, these aren't exactly the most human of humans. But never mind, whatever. They were talking! There are others like me. And Vivi runs off. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? He went that way. But I... Hey! A village! Village always have good food. I go find. Jeez, you people. It always confuses me that Zidane asks that. Why would anyone build a village in a dying forest in the middle of nowhere? Well, given that they also put an illusion on it to make it look like there was no one there, and to make you keep walking down that bleeding path, probably because they don't want to see anyone. Right, you get a bunch of ATEs at this point. Let's start with life on the run. The humans are here! Vivi! What's going on? Hmm. Right, so, now that we are here... <laughs> oh, let's just visit places. We're going to come across our um, party members in due course. Um, but I'm just going to pick up... Whoops, I didn't mean to go in there, but never mind. Pick some stuff up in the process. So... Black Mage number 239, welcome. Huh? Uh, um, c can I help you? So you can buy some um, items from here. Now, unfortunately, we were unsuccessful, I think. Let me just check. Actually, I'm suddenly doubting myself. Pretty sure we were unsuccessful. Oh, no, we did steal the Gladius. Never mind, then. We don't need to buy one of them. Excellent. Oh, it was the, the sword for Steiner that we hadn't bought. So, weapons shop. Um, if you weren't able to steal it off of uh, Lani earlier on uh, in Fossil Rue, then you can buy a Gladius here. God knows why you'd need to buy a Mage Staff, but whatever. Oak Staff again, if you weren't able to acquire one of these from a chest, or was it stolen from somewhere? I can't remember. But um, you can buy one here. Why did I go and check Zidane's equipment to see if he had a Gladius? It tells me if I have one. Anyway, then you can buy an Oak Staff for Vivi from here. Uh, Mithril Fork, I've already got one. Anything I don't have. The stock in these shops does get updated with time. And this Black Mage Village does actually turn into one of the best places to come to buy equipment. And I find an elixir. Fantastic. Great. So, I'm actually going to go this way first. Time event, different language. You don't have to watch these, but I think it's worthwhile. Story's a bit... Well, story. Is he the one who came here with that group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware. Just like us. Thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there were no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? This is, uh, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right. A cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground, yes, our friends are buried under here. But, why? That's because I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. 
Then one day Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped, wouldn't move or say anything. My friend who knows lots of things told me that this was what death was and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? <laughs> when he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. W what's he talking about? Was it a disease or was he hurt? Tell me why. That's because... Interruption. Right. Moogle! Mognet. I want you to deliver my letter, but you can't hold any more, Koopo. Bother. Hmm. That's too bad, Koopo. Right, we're going to have to come back. I, I appear to have missed a Moogle somewhere. Because, uh, yeah. These should have been delivered. I will check which Moogle I have missed, and then I'll make sure that I sort that out at some point. Right, um, let's just quickly save our game here. There we go, right. And cancel. So we're going to go straight through here. Watch an ATE. Visitor, not invader. Um, excuse me, where are you here? This is our village. Yeah. You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about using us. You mean about Vivi? That's not true, it's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk, so besides, I'm here to stop the person who's sending you off to fight. Are you telling the truth? Lies. All humans are liars, you're lying. But it's true. I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. Zidane, you want egg too? Chocobo egg, very delicious. We're never gonna give it to you. Is he with you? Can you take him somewhere else? Now I think... There we go, Gishul Greens. Great. Excellent. So, let's go back to the central courtyard area thingy. And we're going to go this way now. Through here. And we find ourselves in the inn. Go to the back of the inn. And Virgo, we have found another Stelazio coin. Hurrah. Uh, let's just read the description on Virgo. Watching the sunset from the cape, Virgo whispered, My only wish is to be with you now. Uh, this is an inn, but we're not ready to check you in. A Walk in a Forest by Black Mage number 234. Our Village by Black Mage number 123. So, there's the inn, you can pick up Virgo there, sweet. And you can also go into here, you can actually enter it via the back door. Later on, hopefully we'll be able to pop upstairs and uh, grab the stuff that's lurking up there. Received ether. Um, but for now, this is the medicine shop. Again, if there's anything you want, you can stock up. I don't particularly want to right now, so I'm not going to bother. We're just going to move onward. Um, so, if we go this way, and into here, we encounter Dagger again. Oh, Zidane. What's up, Dagger? I was telling them why we're here. Why are we here? Zidane! It's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? What's a joke? Is it scary? It's something funny, right, Dagger? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable, you know that. Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm going to go look for him. Hey, Dagger. Not again. Right. Now, so we are in here. And we're going to try and pick some stuff up. Hey, found some money. Ugh. 
Welcome to the Black Cat Synthesis Shop. So this is the Synthesis Shop. Um, so if you haven't already done it, you might want to synthesize the Exploder. Rune Tooth is another weapon if you've got a spare Mithril Dagger that you can um, synthesize for Zidane. It doesn't gain you a unique ability, but it does raise his attack power a bit, so it's not too shabby. Wrist and Steeple Tat. Is there anything here that I actually want to synthesize? Barret. Power Belt. Now, mm, we do have a Power Belt. I believe Steiner's currently wearing it. Um, a Dane's Ring, Fairy Earrings, Extension. We are not going to make one of those at the moment, I don't think. I'm going to keep the Lamia's Tiara. Reflect Ring. You'll have loads of opportunity to come across these things again later on, or come back to the Black Cat Synthesis Shop and take advantage of it at the time. Let's go up here. And come on, where is it? There we go. 843 gil. Now, I think it's later on come back to hear a conversation that goes on. Um, yeah, it's not right now though. But we're going to come back to this area later on. And down we go. And now let's go to the left. Ah. Hey, Vivi. What's up with him? I wonder what it's like down there. Is it warm or cold? Hey, how come you guys can all talk? We became aware one day, each under different circumstances. Became aware? How? Do you remember being born? No, not really. It was the same with me. I just woke up one day. And there was a human body lying next to me. His body was covered in blood. It scared me, I didn't know what it meant. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were many others like me and we decided to escape together. We heard about this village after roaming around for a while. That's how I ended up here. I see. Many of our friends stopped moving recently. The ones that were produced earlier stopped first. Maybe our lifespan is limited. Yeah, same thing. So that hints at the fact that the Black Mage's lifespans are limited, which... I guess would kind of make sense if you're Kuja and you're developing a series of basically magical weapons, which is what the Black Mages were developed as, then it's like a biro. You're not going to build it to last forever, you're just going to build it to last as long as it remains useful, I guess. Yes, I did just compare an entire species of, of people to a pen. But my point is just that's how I think the person who created them views them as a tool, as a, as a thing to use. Vivi, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, Zidane, it's, it's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. Grr, I hungry. This village, people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You looked very... You got tired, right, Vivi? Uh, yeah. I don't blame you. We've been walking around non-stop. We should call it a day. I go to forest and look for food. Yeah. And so we'll rest, because... Why not? Zidane, Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a quiet, romantic time. I'm serious. I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure something out for himself. Think about it. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe, just maybe, he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah, a place where he belongs.
Hey, Zidane, when you said home, what's the matter? Can't fall asleep. How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time, there you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace. A place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left the home of his adoptive father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light. Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe. Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a coloured light. So he went back to the home of his adoptive father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcomed him home? No way. The father raised his fist and beat the son he'd worked so hard to raise. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his own son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating! But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has a home. Maybe. It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Hello. Nice to see you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words, but you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop, and maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in this village, with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Travelling with your friends gives your life meaning? Um... Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Dagger? Zidane, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Condé Petit said there was a place called Sanctuary where entrance is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there and maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? If Vivi says he's staying behind... Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them all about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I would get to spend some quality time together. What you say? You no leave me here, I starve. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go everyone! Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to Sanctuary we go. Just before we do, though. Small interjection. Um, let me just quickly check equipment. I don't think anything radical is going to have changed. Nah. However, at this point, there is something I want to do. So, if we go back here. Oh, hello, people. How are you today? We've each been gaining distinctive personality traits since we arrived in this village. Mr. 44, for instance, got bigger. The others are also starting to look and act differently. Mr. 288 told us that this is called individuality. He's really smart. I've been gaining weight lately. I wonder if I'm overeating. Probably, a big fat blighter. Right. In here and up the ladder. I said earlier on that we would want to come back to this bit. 
side. Come on, or if I do, I need to do something else to trigger it. I cannot remember. Aha! Huh? I hear someone talking. I heard Mr. One Six Three ask for the usual the other day. What did he mean? What is the usual? I don't know. It must be something very special. Oxymoron, anybody? I see. Running a shop is a tough job, isn't it? Right. Having heard about that, you want to go down the ladder and go to the medicine shop. I feel a bit bad about this every single time, but it doesn't stop me doing it. And go and ask for the usual. The, the usual? Um, and while the black mage is rummaging around, you go up the ladder that was behind him. Jump on the bed, open the treasure chest that's hanging from the ceiling, and steal his black belt. <laughs> because, you know, you're um, a delightful individual. And, uh, where did I put it? And he's still rummaging. <laughs> oh dear, right. I can't remember what the black belt actually gives us. Black belt, HP plus 20%, devil killer, and damage. Okay. That's fine, everyone's good for now, and now we can finally leave the Black Mage Village. Back on Choco, and we're going to return to Condi Petty, um, and see if we can make our way to Sanctuary. There we go. I'll save my game here. So we have explored and found story and whatnot in the Black Mage Village. There are other Black Mages like Vivi. Um, and now we are going to head off to war back to Condi Petit and see if there is a way through to Sanctuary. Hopefully there is, because otherwise, well, the story has ground to a halt. <laughs> But all that is for next time. So, enjoy guys doing all whatever it is you're doing. And I will catch you in another video. Ciao, ciao.